all and welcome to the Cavern Entertainment Review. It's Art here with the book the book re-review for Red Shirts, the May 2024 book club book pick. I knew I said the Star Trek Lip Bridge Flow Chart video would be today, but that video is gonna take a little bit longer in production to get done the, the way I do. I want it so you get in this book re-review instead. This is a standalone novel by John Scalzi. The audible version, which I love uh, a lot, I have a physical version and I have the audible version. The audible version, which I love a lot, is read by Will Wheaton. And oh my god, I'm wearing a red shirt. This might spell doom. Or it might just be simple irony. But this book is, um, it plays on the Star Trek and the Federation tropes because the Universal Union is a lot like the Federation and of course uh, the Intrepid is a lot like the USS Enterprise it is comical it is fun it is heavily 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 enjoyable uh, you follow around a bunch of red shirts hence the title extras in the TV show um, and you see them in, the, in their day-to-day -day lives and them not wanting to go on uh, away missions. You see light sci-fi used in a veil of just comedy and humor. Does the book stand up to a reread? Hell yes it does. It's an excellent reread. Is it, Does the book take itself far too seriously at points? Yes. Is the prologue a little bit off-putting, yes, but it also sets up the whole premise of the book and lets you know what you're in for as well. So in that in that way, in that purpose, it serves its purpose. Could it be a little bit better written? Probably, but is it still quality written? Yes. I'm talking about the prologue with the entire book. The entire book as a whole is amazing. It's fun. It's a little bit of Star Trek TOS and a little bit of The Voyage Home. Uh, Scaldi turns them both on their side and makes comedic fun out of it in his own way while not being copyrighted infringible. <laughs> infringement to the book. If that's a word. He avoids copyright infringement is what I'm trying to say. But he does it in a way that is both funny, poignant, and fun while still being true and uh, gritty to science fiction. It's truly, truly, truly amazing and it's truly fun and truly good. So who should read Red Shirts? Well, if you like any sci-fi or if you like humor, Red Shirts is for you. If you're new to sci-fi, Red Shirts is a nice, easy, gentle way to ease yourself in to the sci-fi genre because believe me there's a lot more hardcore a lot more um big brained sci-fi that you can get into later this is both fun this is both entry level and easy to comprehend easy to digest and easy to have fun with so, what do I give it upon rereading it? If you remember, I gave Red Shirts a 5 out of 5 on the Goodreads scale. My own scale wasn't around when I originally re reviewed this book. I do not believe I couldn't find my review on the on the on my channel, but I'm sure it's there. I just didn't look hard enough. Um but for me, it's a read and only love it on my scale. It is a 5 star uh, book read because it's it, does it hit everything perfect? No, but it tells the complete story with brevity with um, great science fiction easy to understand concepts that are that are easily digestible anybody who can can understand even if you're not a hardcore science or a hardcore science fiction fan it's just an easy digestible book that will have you thinking about Star Trek TOS and um, Star Trek IV A Voyage Home 
and it will just feel good and have good energy with it, especially if you get it on Audible with Will Wheaton reading it. It's just an amazing, amazing, amazing book. But with that said, uh, leave in the comments down below what you think of Richards. If you plan on reading Richards, let me know that in the comments down below. And yes, I do plan on making the uh, Star Trek Litverse video at some point next week. But we've also got Star Trek books to actually cover as well. You'll have to tune in to CRU this weekend to see how everything is going to pan out. But until next time, guys, you know I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, 12.30 p.m. Central, 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. Please ding the notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. And without further ado, happy reading. I'll see you again soon. And peace.